Now that you have seen the examples, you may be wondering what is UI and how does it work. Well, it's a Unity plugin that provides great help when it comes to UI. It can handle menus, pop-ups, side menus and gives you the ability to easily animate transitions between menus for example, like you've seen in the introduction video, or pretty much any UI element you want to animate. Also it comes with a very handy set of tools to make it easier for you to set up your UI elements. First tool is Fit Anchors Direct, which removes the headache of manually trying to fit the anchors in many UI elements you work on. Second tool is Fit Check to Anchors. Third tool is Fit Anchors to Parent, which already exists in Unity but it's copied here for easier access. Fourth tool is Fit Check to Parent. Fifth tool is Fit both Rect and Anchors to Parent. This tool is very handy when it comes to creating background and menus and whatever UI element you want to fit it to the entire canvas or its parent. And the last tool is Center Anchors, which centers the anchors to the object itself, not to its parent. And by the help of these tools, I've created this UI layout way faster than I used to without them. So, let's move a few steps backward and start from scratch. Here I have an empty scene. The first step is to create a canvas, so I right click. UI Canvas and Now I need to drag Menu Manager Prefab into the hierarchy and also Pop-Ups Manager if I plan to use Pop-Ups of course And to further explain these two Menus Manager works by making sure that there is exactly one visible menu at any given time with the ability to switch to another menu While Pop-Ups Manager is technically an extra layer of menus, uh, it works the same way as Menus Manager but with the exception of allowing no pop-ups to be active at any given time, meaning that you can have either one visible pop-up or no visible pop-ups at all. You can use these two for any purpose you want as long as they fit, you don't have to only manage typical menus and pop-ups. So back to our scene. Now we have to start creating a menu. The structure of a menu is very simple, you need to make an empty game object fill the canvas with it, and you can easily do this by using FitTict and Anchors to Parent. I'll rename it and add menu script to it, duplicate it so I can have another menu to switch between, I will also rename it, and now I have to make sure that they are added to menus manager by simply selecting it, clicking on this button here, update all menus, which will go through the canvas and make sure that all the objects that have menu script attached to it will be added to this list here. And of course you can manually update this list anytime you want. Now that we have our menu set up, we'll start adding elements. I'll create a UI image under the first menu. And I'll add UI element script to it. This script is very important as it controls the animation of the UI element when switching between menus. I can animate movement, rotation, scale, opacity or simply activate and deactivate the object without animating it. And for each one of these, we have three types of animations. Linear, Ease In, and Bounce. For this one, I want to animate its scale, and I want it to bounce. Another thing to make sure of is that all the UI elements inside the menu are updated in the menu script. So I'll select the first menu, and then click on Update Animated Elements. And again, you can manually update this list if you want to exclude a few elements or include elements that aren't child of this menu. Now we need an action to switch between first menu and second menu so we can see the animation. For the sake of simplicity, I'll make this image here act as a button by adding button component to it. Now the event that needs to fire on click is inside menus manager. So I'll drag menus manager game object here and go to menus manager script. And the function we need to call is open menu. It takes the name of the menu as a parameter. So I'll type second menu, which is the name of this menu here, and let's test it. So it does switch to the second menu, but there is no way to get back to the first menu. I can do the same as the previous menu, which is called an open menu, and send first menu as a parameter, or I can simply call back, which will go back to the previous menu. And it's very useful, especially if you have a single back button that should work for all the menus. First thing, however, I need to tell this menu which one is the previous menu. So I'll select it, and here we can see previous menu variable. So I'll drag the first menu and drop it right here. 
Uh, there's a shortcut for back, which is escape button on your keyboard or mobile device. So I don't really need to create a graphical back button for this example here. By testing this out, we can see that it works very well. So with the help of ZUI, I can transform this boring menu transitions to this in just a few minutes. This plugin contains many other features, such as language and SFX control, and it will contain many other features. I still don't have a release date yet, so if you are interested, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here, and also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll have the links in the description. And thanks for watching.